you're powerful, you're more powerful than this reality. So you can tap into any emotion that you want to feel in any moment, just through thought. Hey, it's Zana. So for this video, I wanted to talk about fear because I kind of touched on it in my last video where I like let you in on the fact that I'm literally facing fears by sitting here and filming these videos. So I kind of want to talk about where it actually comes from, like why we feel it, how it even gets into our mind because in order to feel fear or any kind of emotion, you have to think about the thing first. You know, so like what even triggers that negative thought to come into your mind for you to then feel the emotion. And I realised that most of the time our fears are external, like they're not something that you would naturally think or feel. It's not something that you would naturally believe. It's something that somebody has told you to fear. So caring what other people think is literally you craving their validation and them accepting you but why would you want them to accept you like it's because society has programmed us with beliefs and with tv shows and with films and the media to like believe that we need to be accepted you know like the thought of even needing somebody else to tell you that you're worthy that's an external programming you weren't born with that concept when you're a baby, you're not born with the idea that you want everybody to love you. Like, you're not born with the idea that you need the stranger in another country to tell you that you're beautiful or that you're worthy or that you're successful. That would never even come into your mind. But only as we grow up and we, like, go to school and we want to be accepted by our friends and, like, all of the, our peers in the school, then we start to take on these programmings and these societal norms and things that aren't actually ours to begin with and I've realized that most of them definitely come from your parents first because they're the first people that you meet like the people that raise you whether that's biologically a parent or whoever it is like those people that that raise you and bring you up they're the people that tell you what's right and wrong they're the people that tell you what you should do, what you can't do. They're the ones that tell you, yes, you should go for your dreams or no, you need to get a normal job. Like, it's the people that we surround ourselves with. And of course, when we're children, we don't really have a choice who is around us. So, yeah, I just realised that environment and the people that you surround yourself with are the key because they're the ones that, especially when you're young, they're the ones that instill these beliefs and concepts and ideas around you and yeah so it really is about the external and the validation that we seek in the external and as you get older like you can decide for yourself what is right for you and what's not what you want to do and what you don't like you have more of a say and more control over that but of course the program is everywhere. <laughs> like it's literally everywhere. Every TV show you sh uh, oh my god, every TV show that you watch is instilling something in you, whether you're consciously aware of it or not. It is like the message behind it, the way the characters behave, everything about it is instilling a message into your subconscious mind like it completely because you when you watch tv you literally zone out you're not even aware of the world around you especially in cinemas you're so zoned out you're not even noticing like any like you, you don't even notice the person sitting next to you when you're that engrossed in a film like you just zone out and it's because it's fully penetrating your subconscious mind and your conscious mind the one that like is your everyday mind kind of thing is not aware it's like shut off almost you're just in a zone watching a tv show so i've realized that most of the programming is an external thing and then we take it as our own and we don't know how to shift it we don't know how to get rid of it we don't know how to see it differently and to realize that actually we're way more powerful than a thought or a belief like way more powerful so the fact that it's external literally means you can change it if you choose to but obviously you have to take control of the whole situation take control of who you have around you your environment you have to take control of your life and of your mind that's the main thing it's like taking control of your mind and realizing that you actually can take control of your mind <laughs> like 
as weird as it sounds and as complex as it can be, only you can hear your thoughts. Like nobody else can actually physically tap into your brain and hear your thoughts. Not without like doing some kind of crazy shit to you. Like nobody can actually hear your, your mind, only you can. So that means that they're not even like they're not even aware of your thoughts they're not even aware of the beliefs that you hold it's only through your actions that you then reveal where your mind is at it's only through your words like trolls on the internet through them acting out that trolling act of like typing some negative bullshit to people they've just fully revealed where their mind is at you know and when people respond with kindness they've just fully revealed where their mind is at because your actions show who you are, they show how, what you believe, they show your beliefs, because that's what we act on, you know, so in order to change your behaviour and change how you carry yourself, you have to change your beliefs, and in order to change your belief, you have to change your thoughts, and most of the time our thoughts are not ours, you literally, every time you think, oh my god, I look like shit today, like that thought is not yours, that thought is not how you really, really feel about yourself. That is like a belief that you've just, you've thought that thought so many times that you've started to believe it to be true and it's not true. It's not true at all. Your real self outside of this experience that doesn't have a vessel would not think that you weren't beautiful based on the vessel that you inhabit. Like that's just ridiculous. <laughs> It would not think that you're not beautiful just because of a vessel, you know? And, like, this is just one vessel in one lifetime. And even the idea of what a vessel should look like is a societal programming, as we all know. And it's fed to us. It's fed to you on Instagram. It's fed to you in films. It's fed to you in TV shows. That idea, it's not even real because it could change in 10 years time. Like, it's not a real thing. It's not something that we need to hold on to and work towards and all of that. Like, you should just be doing what makes you feel good, you know? Doing what, literally, what makes you happy instead of trying to do what other people tell you should make you happy. And that's why a lot of people are chasing money and chasing all of these things. And it's because they think it will make them happy. But then when you get it, you realize that actually your happiness isn't in that thing. Your happiness is a state of mind. And it always was. And you can feel that happiness no matter what your external looks like, whether it's amazing, whether it's, I mean, who even decides what amazing is? <laughs> like even that in itself is a societal programming but whether you have like tons of objects material things or whether you have one whether you have a roof over your head whether you don't you can still tap into the state of happiness just purely because you're an infinite being and like that's always a possibility for you you know like you're powerful you're more powerful than this reality so you can tap into any emotion that you want to feel in any moment just through thought, just through thinking, just through thinking about what will make you feel that emotion. So yeah, I just think it's so important to realise that the field, the field, oh my god, I can't speak today. I just think it's so important to realise that the fear is not yours, because that's what liberates you, like that's what gets you out of that hole of allowing those thoughts to pile on top of you but it's a daily practice like it's a daily continuation right of literally every time a thought comes in your head being like what did that say did that serve me do I like that thought no I don't like that thought let me think about something else no I don't want to think about that today let me think about something else like you literally just have to move your mind to where you want it to go because thoughts are going to come in and out whether you like it or not like no matter what it is it's just going to keep happening but the more that you take control of it and shift it where you want it to go the easier it will naturally go to those thoughts like the more you move it from a negative to a positive the more it will naturally go to a positive on its own if that makes sense so I mean it takes effort it is hard work like nobody said it was going to be easy and the reason why so many negative thoughts come into our mind now is because of society. Like, it literally is. 
the thought of competition, like comparing yourself to others, the thought of not being successful enough, not worthy enough, feeling sad and then feeling guilty for feeling sad when your life isn't actually that bad, but now you feel guilty that you feel sad. Like all of these pressures are society's programming. It's part of the matrix. It's not real and it's okay to feel all of those things, but then take back control, like remember who the fuck you are, you know, remember how, and I don't mean in this experience, I mean beyond it, like remember how powerful you are, we all come from the same source, we're all energy, we're all electricity, like we're all made up of the same thing, so that's not even a part of this world, you know, like we're experiencing it, we're not of it though, we're beyond it, this is just one experience. And when you remember that and you keep reminding yourself of that every day, then you realize that the human fears are not actually that powerful. Like it's child's play, it's not that big. It's not, it's not more powerful than your true essence, if that makes sense. And I know this got like a little bit spiritual, but life is spiritual. You know that is what you are <laughs> so that's why I feel like spirituality is kind of becoming such a big thing right now is because we're remembering like you can't hide anymore the information cannot be hidden from us anymore and I mean it's becoming more and more obvious that we don't really like society's rules society's expectations society's standard of beauty like most people now are aware of the fear that they feel when they even think about those topics so like it literally is right in front of us you know it can't hide anymore we know that it doesn't feel good we know what will feel good so it's important to just take back control really take back control and you can do it and every time you hear that voice telling you that you can't do it shift it to yes I can even if you have to stand there for 10 minutes and be like yes I can yes I can yes I am worthy like it's really powerful even saying it out loud I've realized saying things out loud is so much more powerful than just in your head because the more you do it the more you start to believe it so yeah it's just practice and it's daily awareness and daily effort but it's so necessary you know and it's so important and so powerful so I don't even know if I covered everything I feel like I needed to restart this video so many times throughout it but I tried to just go with it and let it happen but this is what happens when you overthink it and you hear that voice you listen to that voice that's telling you this is shit this you need to start again this is not good enough you're not worthy and then it like makes you stumble on what, whatever it is that you're trying to do and it happens all the time to all of us and like that's okay you know we don't need to beat ourselves up for it like it happens and it's okay but it's how you move through it do you listen to it and stop and then sit there in that emotion of fear or do you keep going you know do you tell it to shut up <laughs> literally tell that voice to just stop and be quiet and keep going and then like move your focus to what you do want to feel because you have the power to do that even when you think you don't the voice that tells you that you can't is literally that voice it's just the ego and it's just a part of this experience and it is here to help us survive like it is here to tell you not to step out in the road because a car's come in but it also tells you not to go after your dreams because you don't want people to judge you it also tells you not to ask the guy out or the girl out because you don't want to be rejected you know so it has benefits but it also has some negative sides to it so it's just I just think it's about doing what you want and trying to feel good as often as possible you know and then not beating yourself up for feeling shit sometimes because we all feel down we all feel sad we all feel low emotions and that's just a part of this experience but that doesn't mean that we can't feel good you know we can you just have to shift your mind to it and remember that the fear is not you, the fear is not yours, it's just an external programming that's part of this world, it's part of the societal norms, but those norms always change, and if you decide that they change for you, then they do, you know, it's all a part of your mind and how you view it, so that is it for this video and I'm gonna make more on it because I have no clue what I even covered, I feel like the videos get so channeled and then I forget what the hell I've even said, so 
I'm definitely gonna make more videos on it and like I'm learning every day as well so anyway don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because there's videos every week and I will see you in the next one bye I need a man that will hold me down if he a yes man I ain't keeping him around